Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and I'm doing a little impromptu video because it cracked me up. I literally just got this a few minutes ago. I want to show you guys on the screen. So as you can see, it's an email from Ford asking about my recent purchase F-150 and how I'd rate the quality of the vehicle. Now, if you're a fan of the channel, you know I've done this video last week about rust, and I got really tired of talking about rust. But it's dominated the channel, and I just <laughs> literally just got a quality survey. And I mean, this is not for PR. It's just it's just part of their program. They send this to owners to get initial feedback on the, the quality of the vehicle they're building. So what do you all think? How should I respond to the survey? <laughs> now, now, I'm kind of over the rust issues. I, people have asked me about this and I'm kind of over them. I mean, it's what it is. It's surface rust, not going to matter. It is a cosmetic issue. I get it. It does still piss me off. I spent 50 some thousand dollars and I have a rusted truck now. Um, and now I'm in Western Nebraska and, and to understand that I'm 20 miles from Wyoming, like 180 miles from Denver. We don't have rust undercoating shops here. I, checked, I looked one up for like Kronk undercoating. That's eight hours away. That's in Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, that's, I'd have to spend 16 hours on the road to get there for $150 service, whatever it'd be cost me to do it. It would actually cost me probably four or 500 bucks by the time I do hotel room and food and gas all the way back and forth. Because we don't get it. In west eastern Nebraska, they have the Missouri River. They have a lot of humidity. We out here, we have pivots. We have water issues. Pivots are the ones that goes around the, um, I can't explain this, goes around the, the farm, right? So it spreads water because we don't get natural rainfall that much to, like, water the crops. So we have an issue with that. So, yeah, I mean, I just don't get rust out here. And so I'm, I'm probably going to end up with some fluid film. I'll probably spray the differential to, or the differential and the rear axle housing. That way it looks good for next buyer, which is my biggest concern, not me. It was my biggest concern to have next buyer. So that's what I'll probably do with it. I'm going to get, make sure to cover the frame up. But yeah, I just, I just got that email. Which just, the timing just cracks me up on that. So um, what awful timing. But anyways, I, I just, I, I thought, you know what? I could do a post. I thought you guys need to see this and I won't even monetize the video. You guys can just watch this for free. Just because... <laughs> <laughs> it cracked me up. <laughs>